Hello, Dr. Frank. Hello, Sui. What can I help you? I'm facing a big problem today. I have received a patient from our clinic. She is pregnant. As usual, I can provide a series of care or an education to her as a normal pregnancy. But the main point is, she's just 16 years old. I'm really confused about what further information I should give to a patient with teenage pregnancy. And how is your care plan? Uh, I'm still working on it. However, I found many difficulties. I don't know what to be concerned about teenage pregnancy. I only know the basic care such as planning the regular check, telling her what are the signs and symptoms of pregnancy and so on. So, how about their study, peers and career plan? Mm, I haven't thought about it. Teenage pregnancy is not the same with normal pregnancy. As the teenagers are still young and not mature enough, we need to help them to overcome more problems such as decision making. Here's a guiding tool for carrying teenage pregnancy. You may find some useful information. May I know how to use this guiding book, Dr. Frank? Sure. In this tool, it's simply divided by three parts, the introduction, staging in transition care, and transition care plan. All the related pages you can find in the content pages. It's easy to click on the topic you want, and then this book will bring you to that page. In the introduction, we have background and aims about why we designed this guiding book. And what is the next part? The next part, staging in transition care indicates how to define the staging in teenage pregnancy. And the last part, transition care plan, describes the problems of early pregnancy stage, pregnancy stage, and post-pregnancy stage, and how to deal with the problems. Sui, do you know what transition care is? Hmm, not quite. I haven't heard for it before. Maybe you can click to the background part to see the information. I see. Transition care is the transfer from adolescent to adult health care service, which is a milestone in the lifetime of the young person and their families, like teenagers promoting from high school to university. Um, so, without transition care, adolescents may feel unadapted to the situation and stressed it. Am I right? Absolutely. You can find out the definition of transition care in this page. Well, seems it can also provide me information about the significance of the use of transition care plan in teenage pregnancy. You're right. There are three reasons why transition care is important in teenage pregnancy. First, teenage pregnancy is an unavoidable issue in the world. Second, teenage mothers and their babies tend to face a higher risk to develop health problems. Third, due to the immaturity of the mothers, they may face a lot of difficulties and do not have enough problem-solving skills to deal with them, which requires us to lend them a helping hand. Oh, thanks a lot. Now I'm clear about the background of transition care of teenage pregnancy. This electronic guidebook for transition care is so important and useful for us. Do you know the reasons? Maybe there is an increasing trend for teenage pregnancy in Hong Kong. They are too young and immature to solve problems. Healthcare professionals can give suggestions and advices to them if there is a handy electronic book about how to settle down the problems. That's right. This guidebook can provide a protocol to take well care of this group of clients. Healthcare professionals can offer desirable interventions and comprehensive transition care to solve problems. Also, it's a great resource for them to enhance knowledge and understanding about this issue. Oh, it is a good protocol for us to follow. Can you tell me more about it? Sure. The transition care plan can be divided into three stages by using the teenage pregnancy transition model, which I've mentioned before. Mm, what is the difference between the early pregnancy stage and pregnancy stage? Early pregnancy stage describes the first few weeks and months after detection and confirmed pregnancy. In this stage, the health professionals need to explain the situation clearly to the clients and help them to accept the fact. Then, the pregnancy stage describes the period after early pregnancy stage until before delivery. In this stage, clients may face problems like role conflict of being a responsible mother. They may be also concerned about the future of her and her baby. 
healthcare professionals need to provide more psychological support and information about pregnancy to the clients. So, how about the post-pregnancy stage? Post-pregnancy stage describes the period after giving birth to the baby. Healthcare professionals need to help the clients to prevent postnatal depression and other complications of both mother and babies. Now, I know how to classify my clients into different staging. However, I still have some questions. I think this is quite difficult to consider what should be included in my care plan. And what are the key areas should be concerned in my care plan? Um, there are six key areas you can be concerned in your care plan. There are self-efficacy, independent health care behavior, sexual health, psychosocial support, educational and vocational planning, and health and lifestyle. I see, but what are the meaning of each area? Um, maybe I can give you some examples. Self-efficacy is an edge of condition of representing oneself, such as self-awareness and the knowledge of white. In the area of independent healthcare behavior, you may think about the health barriers of your clients. In sexual health, you may promote the methods of safety sex. In the area of psychosocial support, discrimination is an example of the problems your client might have. In educational and vocational planning, you can think about the restrictions she's facing. In health and lifestyle area, you can consider the bad habits such as smoking of your clients. Oh, thank you, Dr. Frank. I'm much clearer now. Sui, you now understand what are the six key areas and what do they stand for? And now do you know how to check out the care plan checklist? Mm, not really. Okay, basically, these care plan checklists are also following the Royal College of Nursing and it suggests a checklist for planning and being identified to meet the individual young people's needs in every stages. So, what elements are included in the checklist? It is composed by four different parts, problem, goal, action, and evidence. The problem part clearly lists out what problems the teenagers are facing. The goal part is the results that we want the patient to achieve. The action part is recording any action for clients. The evidence part is summarizing the discussion, the advice given, and any goals set, and also indicate the young person's level of understanding. Do you understand, Sui? No, Dr. Frank. Okay, let's show you an example. For the early stage of self-efficacy, the problem is to understand autonomy and delay prenatal care by the goals. We want them to show the understanding of autonomy. By the action we take, we will explain the significance of taking their responsibilities in the decision-making process. The evidence is what we involve in the process and make decisions on future care. At the end of the page, we will also have some additional material to help the nurse to further understand why they need to do so. Now, Sui, do you have a clear understanding of the care plan checklist? Sure, Dr. Frank. Alright, I'm sure that you are now familiar with these three stages and the six key areas. So, do you still have any questions about the guideline? Um, I'm still confused about the main focus of each stage. Okay, the first stage here mainly focuses on the time when the teenage girl had just learned she's pregnant and is not willing to accept the truth. The second and the late stage describe the antenatal period and postnatal period respectively. If you want to have more details, you can take a look on page 15. 28 and 46. Thanks. I now understand what the three stages that I need to focus on. I found that the guidebook is very convenient for me to look for the problems. The pregnant girl may suffer from the problems listed on each stage. But I hope I can go for the exact pages which I want. Actually, you can do it in the guidebook. Can you see there's a column consists of the six key areas on the top of the care plan? Yes. You can just simply click one of the key areas. You can then go to the page. Wow, it's so easy that I can go the exact pages at once. This guideline really helped me a lot. Now I'm confident to take care of that patient. 
By the way, if I want to know more information about teenage pregnancy, where can I find it? In the appendix part of the ebook, there are many internet resources to provide further information for references. You may click those hyperlinks and explore that website for further details. Many of those websites come from the Department of Health and World Health Organization. They are very convincible. That's great. Thank you very much. Hope you can enjoy the guideline and get help that client.